Hi everyone, I'm Melissa Ryerson with the City of Franklin and I have with me here today Kurt Edelman. He's a fire inspector with the City of Franklin Fire Department. Today we're talking about fire sprinkler maintenance. Many subdivisions within the city require fire sprinklers and homeowners need to know how to maintain them. Is it difficult, Kurt? It's not. It's really pretty simple. Um, the first thing you should do, and you should do this periodically, is just go through your home and just check your sprinklers. You make sure all the, the caps are in place. Um, make sure they're free of paint and um, other types of obstructions. Uh, you don't want to be using your sprinklers to hang Christmas decorations or anything from that could, that, could, um, that could cause problems down the road. One thing I get asked a lot is, um, what should I do if I want to paint? Because it's, it's pretty hard to um, cut in around those little, little plates. So one thing you can do is while you're painting, you can just come up and take the, the caps off. All right, so that won't set off the sprinkler. I bet folks are a little scared about <laughs> those drying yeah, or no, setting off uh -uh. the sprinklers to do that. No, uh -uh. You, you'll, you'll be fine. And then when you have the cap off, you know, just, just check the sprinkler to make sure that um, it, there's some play in there that moves up and down that and it's not painted. One of the things we do uh, at inspection is we inspect the heads to make sure that they're not painting. But a lot of times after we come through and do our final inspection, the painters come in and do some final touch up and then they, they might get uh, some paint on it. There's two reasons why you don't want to paint your sprinkler's heads. The one is, is that this deflector um, causes a special spray pattern from the sprinkler. And if there's any paint or something, it's going to disrupt that deflector and disrupt the pattern. Um, also, if you get way too much paint on the sprinkler, it could cause it not to go off if it needs to or respond later. So we're up in the attic right now, and one of the things you should do once a year or so, and especially after you've had um, some work done where uh, contractors have had to go up in your attic, is you just want to look around and inspect your attic to make sure that the insulation is all in place. Um, you know, sometimes this is kind of an easy attic to access, but sometimes you'll have to go up through a scuttle or something. And you really don't need to go up there and walk around or anything. Just take a look around and make sure that um, none of the insulation has been disturbed. That's very important. So why don't we come out here and we'll talk right. about when we need to call a professional, if at all, to maintain our fire sprinklers. Well, it, it kind of depends on you. If you're comfortable doing all of this and it's, it's not a lot, then um, you know, definitely you could do it yourselves or if you'd rather have um, a professional take a look at it, I'm sure the contractor that installed your system would be more than willing to help you out or, you know, can call another sprinkler contractor out here to do it. This isn't the same type of system you'd have like in a, a hotel or a store or something like that. Um, this is a, a system where we purposely tried to make it uh, less costly and uh, make it simple enough where the homeowner could could take care of it if you needed to.